Hello, and welcome back to another video presented by Acuity PPM, where today we're covering the important topic of strategic roadmaps using Acuity PPM software. We're gonna provide an overview of portfolio management and connect that to roadmaps. And then we'll show you how to do this within Acuity PPM. But before we get started, don't forget, subscribe to our channel because we're putting out great content that you don't wanna miss that will help you better manage your portfolio. And then leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. And then if you ask a question, promise to answer. So with that, let's get going. I like to lead off with this definition of portfolio management, that it's a senior leadership discipline that drives strategic execution and maximizes business value delivery. So when we talk about roadmaps, it's a key tool to help senior leaders get visibility of the strategic plan or the departmental plan, which helps drive strategic execution. The roadmaps also convey uh, the ending or the conclusion of the project, which then signals when value will start to get delivered. In addition, tactically, we can identify potential conflicts or dependencies or other challenges that we could avoid by having that visibility that comes from a roadmap. Here, we need to highlight that projects are an important vehicle for executing strategy. It's one of the paradigm shifts that organizations need to make. And having the roadmap of those projects is essential for good portfolio management. In our video that covered the overview of portfolio management, we highlighted the key benefits of PPM. And we're not gonna repeat that here, but just wanna highlight a few items briefly. The first is roadmaps help operationalize the strategic plan. By utilizing roadmaps, we can see what projects are in flight that align to specific strategic goals. It helps identify or produce a realistic portfolio plan so we don't overload people. That visibility is, is critical so that as new projects are being proposed, senior leaders have visibility of what's already in flight or may realize that there's gaps in the strategic plan and need to initiate new projects. It also helps with uh, getting greater confidence of meeting customer commitments. As I mentioned a moment ago, the roadmaps provide visibility of uh, end dates, potential conflicts, milestone performance, it facilitates dependency conversations, so it's valuable to protect portfolio value during project execution. I like this slide because it highlights why you need portfolio management. And I've had organizations tell me that their organization looks like a traffic jam as depicted here. And that's a signal that you need portfolio management. Roadmaps can help clear up some of that traffic and smooth the way for better delivery. Certainly your project managers will not feel as frustrated like this gal does if there's clear line of sight to what works going on and you don't overwhelm your teams. In addition, it's a great uh, tool or vehicle for communicating the actual strategic plan so that your employees do not react like this person is. So these are just some of the indicators of when you need portfolio management and clearly a roadmap can help address some of these challenges. Here, I'd like to point out that there's three basic ways of, of executing strategy. You could use an informed intuition, which is a senior leader's gut, gut feeling. And a lot of companies operate on this principle and I'd liken it to a compass. Directionally accurate, but not that specific. Other companies do put in place a strategic plan and certainly any kind of plan uh, can support the, the right direction to head in and how to accomplish that. But even better would be a navigational system like we have on our phones to navigate traffic and identify the fastest route from uh, point A to point B. That's like your portfolio plan. And the roadmap is a critical component of developing an optimal portfolio plan that helps you deliver strategy in the smoothest and best fashion. 
As we mentioned in our video on the overview of portfolio management, PPM provides answers to fundamental questions such as, what are we working on? Do we have the right projects? Where are we investing our money and our people? How are we performing? Can we absorb the change? And even, can we realistically deliver the portfolio? These questions are, are helped to uh, be answered by the roadmap. A good portfolio roadmap will help communicate what's being worked on, where are we investing, it can support how we're performing, and even can we absorb the change. So if we see multiple projects completing at one time, that is an indicator that we may be uh, implementing too many changes at one time. A roadmap would visualize that. Without the roadmap, uh, if we're only paying attention to some key dates, it would be easy to miss. And it certainly helps answer the question if we can realistically deliver the portfolio. wanted to use this slide to highlight where roadmaps come in as it relates to portfolio planning. So this is a, a summary of the first life cycle phase in portfolio management on defining the portfolio. And portfolio planning at this life cycle stage really is focused on getting visibility of the project pipeline. So it's everything that we're doing, as well as the long-term strategic roadmap. So it could include uh, requested work, but let's let's focus on active work. We can get visibility of what's in the current pipeline and then that'll help us identify if we need to add additional projects or even when we should add additional projects. So we're about to switch over to Acuity PPM right now, but if you'd like a, a custom demo, click on the link in the description below, schedule time, and we'll talk through how Acuity PPM can support your organization or reach out. So with that, let's jump over to Acuity PPM. And we've shown in, in prior videos uh, the project grid. We've got the updated grid here. We've got a lot of functionality. We've talked about the mini dashboard at the top. So this dashboard lets us uh, see how much of our portfolio is allocated to our strategic goals. So here I've got generic examples of four strategic goals, and we can see what the general allocation is by count. We can change that, and we can see the same breakdown measured by budget. And so in this example, the percentages change because it's focused on how many dollars we've allocated to each strategic goal. This will be useful when we look at the roadmaps. So within Acuity PPM, we've got the timeline button at the top, and we've incorporated new functionality into our roadmaps to make it easier to use and more powerful. So I'm going to turn on the roadmap. And we get our initial view. I'm going to zoom to fit. And so right there, we can see the start and finish date, the earliest start date and the latest finish date across the portfolio. And we can see that we've got a number of key milestones uh, shown here. One of the things about Acuity PPM is that we highlight not just what we're doing, but also the relative performance. And this is even a best practice with program management is managing by major milestones. And so even at the project level, we can see what are the upcoming milestones for each project and what's the relative performance. Some projects may be green across the board. Others, there could be some milestones that are at risk or off track. And our color-coded milestones help provide additional context to support your senior leaders in making portfolio decisions. Okay, so with the new grid, I'm gonna show you what we've got. We've got a number of additional fields that have been added in, start, finish, and duration. And then we can scroll over and we can see project manager, sponsor, the department, and the strategic objective. Some of these things are captured in our mini dashboard. The benefit here is that we can do uh, advanced filtering so or sorting. And so for instance, if I want to sort by end date, now I can see, I can come down here and I can see which projects are slated to finish soonest 
and which ones are finishing later. That's valuable. We can use either the filters. We can certainly filter within a date range. We can filter by duration if needed, but we can then also look at projects by project manager or project sponsor. So we can filter here. For the sake of this example, I'm just gonna highlight using the mini dashboard up above. And I'm gonna look at all the projects associated with goal number one. So we can do that here. We can zoom in if we need. We've got the zoom in and zoom out features. But here we can see the strategic roadmap for all the projects that support goal number one. Now we can track what's the relative health. We've got several projects in a red status. Uh, we'd want to drill into those potentially to understand why uh, they're red. We can also get glean, you know, the information of when uh, these projects are going to conclude. If necessary, we could certainly drill down from here into the project details, or we could edit the milestones. So as we've shown in, in other places, if we go into the project details, we can update the milestone timeline and the timelines at the project level are then aggregated here at the portfolio level. I'm going to clear the filter. We could do the same thing. And again, I'm just going by department because it's a little bit easier to navigate from here. And I'm going to click on engineering. So if I want to look at departmental plans, which is also very valuable, perhaps I'm a PMO director and I'm communicating or giving an update to the vice president of engineering. How are the projects tracking across the board for engineering? I can pull up the roadmap for those projects that support the engineering group and uh, provide an update both in terms of schedule performance, project status, and miles, upcoming milestones. So this is very powerful, very valuable. We could also go back and I'm gonna again switch to health. And if I wanna look at all the projects that are red, we could do that here, very easy to do so. So I personally like filtering from the mini dashboard, but we've got other filters uh, that are not available in the dashboard down below, so, uh, such as project manager and project sponsor. So if I'm gonna filter and look at Cody, we can look at Cody's projects. Again, valuable if I'm a PMO director having a review with one of my project managers, or if we're looking at a group of projects that a single project manager is managing, perhaps the program manager looking at a series of projects. So we've got a lot of uh, ability to filter now within the new port, uh, Acuity PPM portfolio timeline. If I wanna make updates, I can go into the project details. I can go to the timeline. I can update the milestones here, and then that'll re reflect right away back to the portfolio level. So that is portfolio road mapping in Acuity PPM. Hope you found this useful. Very powerful tool. Not easy to do in manual tools. So click on the link in the description, schedule a time, and we can give you a full demo of Acuity PPM and how it can support your organization. Thank you.